Because Hitron is such a unique unit, such a unique mission, there's no other unit like it in the Coast Guard, there's no other unit like it in the world. You're switching from a mission where you're trying to find people who want to be found and are in distress in the SAR mode uh, to trying to go out and detect and find people who are trying to evade and do not want to be found. Aside from that, uh, probably the most uh, challenging part of the transition is the actual flying. With airborne use of force, uh, we're tra chasing a go-fast vessel that's trying to evade us and sometimes driving very aggressively. So you need to learn to fly the helicopter uh, basically to its limits. It is absolutely without a doubt some of the most demanding rotary wing flying uh, I have ever experienced and arguably that any military service does uh, with a helicopter. The maneuvering that we do chasing those go fast vessels uh, in very challenging conditions at night uh, in the eastern Pacific where there is no moon and no illumination. Um, I always tell people you don't know dark until you've been in the East Pack at night with no moon. All pilots who report to Hitron are all second tour or later. They're all aircraft commanders. They all have the experience of flying the aircraft and flying challenging missions before they even report to Hitron. And that's specifically because of how demanding the, the, the flight profile is. The counter drug mission is not just about stopping the drugs. That's obviously what you see in the news and that's the public perception of this mission set. But the truth is, what we're trying to do is get to the organizations that are trafficking these drugs from South America, through Central America, through Mexico, and into the United States. With those drugs and all the money that it brings, uh, brings with it a lot of criminal organizations that cause a lot of violence uh, throughout the Central American region. And that creates an enormous instability in the region. Well, folks don't necessarily realize that a lot of the, the mass migration that the United States sees on our southwest border is a result of folks that are living in Central America that are trying to get away from that violence. And that violence is fueled by these uh, drug trafficking organizations. Our attempt is to stop those organizations, to disrupt those organizations to the best of our ability uh, so that we can provide more stability in the Western Hemisphere and provide for more pro uh, economic prosperity for the entire region, not just the United States. I thoroughly enjoyed the opportunity to serve with uh, a fantastic crew. For folks to be motivated enough to come to that unit uh, and, and to take on the challenges that that unit involves, particularly deploying uh, on ships for long periods of time away from their family. They work extremely hard at, at what they do. They put a lot of effort uh, and, and, uh, and training uh, into preparing to maintain their own proficiency uh, so that they, be they can become masters of their craft. The airborne use of force capability is not uh, performed anywhere else. It is unique to this unit um, to have the whole team in, in one place and, uh, and working with those folks uh, has been the greatest honor of my career.